morning my beauties welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Lucy welcome how are you doing today I hope you are having an amazing day today and today we're gonna test out the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Trap lipsticks and this is the new formula for his brand and honey I'm gonna be honest like 2020 it's not a good year for Jeffree Star and I'm not talking about his personal drama I'm talking about his brand None of his 2020 collections sold out like he used to sell out in previous years but I have a high hopes for those lipsticks to be honest. First of all the price is reasonable and the color range is very smart. There is 20 shades, there is a lot of nudes and some crazy bold colors as well so everyone can pick their favorite lipsticks and by the time I'm filming this video none of the lipsticks is sold out on Jeffree website but on Beauty Bay most of the shades are sold out already so I'm happy I got my hands on the three that I wanted and also packaging is quite cute I like he created something different that you just take it off like this and this is embroidered all around and the component for the lipstick itself is so much prettier than lip ammo. What I love about this packaging despite the matte pink finish is that it's magnetized so you're not gonna lose the cup if you're gonna put the lipstick to your purse. Love that and also this is a small thing but I do appreciate this embroidery on the lipstick itself. I feel like this is a quite a cute touch so first I'm gonna show you swatches and then we're gonna put the lipsticks to the test. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? I'm gonna start with a pure hell and by filming the swatches I know this one's gonna be a little tricky to use because as you can see it's not as black as it should be and it's definitely the least precise lipstick from his collection you know what maybe I should go with the brush for more precision okay we can get precision but as you can see it's gray it's not black so we need to go straight from the bullet as you can see it's quite hard to be precise with this black and what is annoying when you try to blend this pigment wears off and I'm sure and I feel like the black one is the most emollient even quite oily from all those lipsticks and the nude is the one that is most dry let's go crazy and let's apply third shade okay and we have our ombre extravaganza I feel like this combination is gonna be great if you're gonna do like a weird Halloween look but for every day I would recommend to stick with one shade or if you want to go for ombre I would go maybe for this combination because the black honey I'm not living for her okay I had to change the lips I went for the combination of hot commodity with the nudist colony in the middle and this is so much more my vibe and those two are very comfortable on the lips and as you can see the pigmentation is there they are not smudging skin is not picking through like we had with this annoying black and that what makes me oh crazy and furious like I hate when there isn't a consistent formula through whole range because at the end of the day you don't know what you're gonna get like you might get the lipstick with a nice formula or you might be unlucky and get the shitty one you never know and especially now when we cannot go to the store and swatch this to see if it's gonna work or not basically when we are shopping online we are buying cut in the bag but I guess this is the reality that we are in right now and if you have tried any of the other shades please please let me know in the comments down below because I'm super curious I have my eye on few different shades but now 
I don't know if I want to order, probably I want to wait for reviews to see which shade works and which are disaster. And overall, I don't know if I can recommend you Jeffree Star Velour Trap lipsticks because two out of three, super nice pigmented, creamy, comfortable, everything you need. But then, on the other hand, we have the black one, Pure Hell, which was a pure disaster. It was oily, greasy, pigmentation was a little wonky, and it was basically disappearing from the lips in seconds. If you want to try other shades that I didn't try, I would recommend to go and watch other reviews to see if the other shades are working or not. Because that's it. I cannot help you anymore. <laughs> oh, Jeff, you are giving me headache this year. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Okay, Hans, I think that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this one and what you think about Velour Trap lipsticks. And see you in the next one. Bye!